Section 23 is about carbon and your carbon footprint. So we're often asked, will a heat pump reduce my carbon footprint? And before I answer that, I want to talk a little bit about this thing. So everybody knows that you've got a carbon footprint. We all have one. Everyone's responsible for a certain amount of carbon. But one of the biggest failings of the renewable heating and the whole green industry is nobody actually knows what their carbon footprint is. So if I was to say to you that I'm going to save you 10 kilos of CO2 per year, most people don't know whether that's a large amount or a small amount because they don't know what their actual carbon footprint is. So I'm going to hopefully try and explain that to you now. If you take the total amount of carbon dioxide emitted by the UK every year and divide it by all the people who live here, we are responsible for 9,000 kilos or 9 tonnes of CO2 each. Some will be much higher, some will be much lower, but I'm going to assume we're all really average. So you are, and I am, a nine ton person. That nine tons, as you can see in the graphic coming up here, if we represent on a pie chart, quite conveniently divides into three. So the first sector, which is about three tons or a third of your carbon, is the stuff that you can't really impact on. So this is industry, motorways, military, and so on. So stuff that happens on your behalf, but it's not really you who's influencing it. So that bit we have to park and we'll look at another day. The next third, which we can look at, is moving you around. So just moving, driving, going to the shops and so on, represents about a third of your carbon. So three tons of carbon. And of course, we all know we could use more fuel efficient cars, electric vehicles, and so on. But we're not talking about that today. So we'll leave that to the lads in the electric car industry. The bit I'm really interested in is the last third. So that last three tons is you at home. So if you look at you at home, about two and a half tons of CO2 in your house, so two and a half of the three tons in your house, is your heating and hot water. And that's the bit I can help you with. So if I can persuade you to go from a, a fossil fuel boiler, like a gas boiler, and I can bring you to a heat pump, we can easily save you something of the order of a ton of that two and a half tons just by changing from one technology to the other. So we could get you from a nine ton person down to an eight ton person with a simple decision to move over to a heat pump. One of the things we do as designers is actually work out exactly how that will impact your house. So if you have a big house or a small house, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm.